Hi, it's Dave again with DRH Acrylic Creations and welcome to this month's challenge with Nate's Art Lab collaboration. Our challenge this month was to create a piece using pallet knives. This is in my wheelhouse, so this was a comfortable challenge for me, but I had a great time doing it. Our special guest artist for today is Jessica Winterstrom of Winterstrom Art. Okay, let's talk about what's first. I'm gonna be doing an ombre today, and I'm gonna to try to keep it with some pretty bright colors for my background. Uh, this is Lemon Yellow. Uh, it's by Arteza. It is a semi semi-translucent or trans transparent or semi-opaque. Uh, my second color is going to be Teal by Golden. It started out high flow. I had to play some games with it, uh, put some liquid tint, um, uh, gloss gel in with it, and came brought it up to the same consistency here. And for lightening up in the middle, I'm gonna keep with, uh, this is titanium white mixed with my normal orange medium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down and create a gradient. Um, uh, probably yellow, white thing, uh, uh, turquoise, which will get all mixed up and end up with its own uh, set of colors. So that's the plan and I'm gonna get right to it.
Okay, so I think that's about where I want it. And it gives me a nice background to work with. And now let me get ready for the second half of this. I'll be right back. Okay, let's talk about our colors for just a second. Starting down here in the bottom. That is Indigo by Artillier Interactive. There's Waterfall by This Little Piggy. That's Golden, that's Teal by Golden. That's Storm by This Little Piggy. And this is the favorite color of the year. Cuneg, Kronakonum Nicolazzo Gold by Golden. The two celibate activators are gonna be Titanium White by Amsterdam and Lamp Black by Amsterdam, mixed with three parts of Australian Floatron. This is my Cody board. I used it earlier this week, twice. So I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my, um, um, my pour on this, uh, on this, so that I have something I can do my ombre across the, the canvas you already saw me paint. So uh, I'm going to go from my lightest color uh, up to my darkest color, and then I'm going to swipe over the top of it, and then. Uh, Depending on how I feel about it, I may come back in and do some minor swiping uh, before I make the transfer. So at least that's a plan. I'm going to get right to it. Kronakin will make a gold. I'm putting it down first because I want that color to work against the white and create a yellow, uh, nice uh, bright yellow underneath it, a gold yellow. This paint may be just a bit thick. Followed by a waterfall. In fact, I think I'd give it just a little shot of white on top of this to separate these two colors. Now a little bit of waterfall. I added the storm because it is a is an absolute stunner. Uh, it goes with almost everything I've used. It's a it's a, a silvery graphite gray. It gives a stormy feeling, I think. And it's the name I actually honestly believe. This is probably the best gray I have in my palette. Now finally on top of this, I'm gonna put down what's gonna feel like. A whole, whole bunch. It's going to feel like the video is going to be a whole bunch. And that's what I want to do is I want to pull my colors up across this. Okay, how do I want to go about this? I think what I want to do first is do my spiral swipe. This this teardrop hands uh, my trowel uh, is probably one of my favorite tools for this. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my colors separated. I'm gonna start with the black, which means. That will be the color, that will be the cell activator that's on top. Now on top of that I'm putting the white. The white is just going to create, <clears throat> going to create those, uh, those, those 
those uh, ringed cells that I like so much. So here we go. Put this over and pull it out in the middle. I got some really nice cells in here. You can't really see them too well because of the black on the black, but they're there. I'm not happy that I don't have more out on the outside. I may do a secondary swipe, but until I'm sure that I've got what I want, uh, I'm going to come in and do a little bit of swip and drag. I probably went a little deep on that. Getting some nice cells there in the middle. I'm happy with that. The white that you see there is not my pillow paint as I originally thought. It's actually that little tiny bit of titanium white I threw on top of that. I'm happy with that. cells basically all in here. All this stuff out here really doesn't have much selling, cell work going on. It might be a problem. I'm not really sure at this point. But uh, let's get to the next section. I'm going to put this off to the side and I'm going to bring in the canvas. And because this is basically my ley line, I'm going to I'm going to go from this side over to here. So I go from like the dark and see if I can succeed at this. Wish me luck. Oh, nice what's on the canvas still. Now, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm saying, is there anything else I want to do? And let's give it a little bit of a spin. So, because this is really dark through here, I think I want to light it up just a little bit. So, I'm going to take a chance on my palette knives over here. Let me see, what is my, generally my go-to when I want to do uh, controlled, controlled uh, swipes or controlled uh, transfers is to use this teardrop. It's my smaller two. I have a, I have a bigger one than this. Uh, and I think what I want to do, I don't want the dark. I really like some of this this light over here. Hope you can see that. So just grabbing a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna surgically
really happy with this over here. I just wish it had gone off the side more. I may be able to may be able to get a little bit of flow off of this. That's not bad at all. I looked a lot thicker than it was, and that's that's almost ideal. Um, I'm really loving the color play here. It probably isn't showing down here, but let me uh, let me put you on. Let me uh, clean this up just a little bit, and I'll come down for a flyover. I want you to notice those Q-neg cells right there are just amazing. The interplay between the indigo and the waterfall and that storm it's just a it's a it's a great combination this has dried absolutely perfectly so stick around for the next person in the collab and uh, i'll see you at the end here if you'd like to help leave a like subscribe and ring the bell for notifications of future videos it really does help and it's absolutely free I want to thank you again for being here, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So, until next time, bye for now.